Check it out. Today's lesson, how to trade supernovas, stock sniping at its best, right? You got to be. You have to be a stock sniper. You have to be patient. You have to wait for your play. And essentially, I know in a way sometimes coming to use more of a bounce play, this is a play that you have to uh, sometimes have to attack. You know, you're waiting for, maybe if you're waiting for it to come to you, it's just waiting for a certain thing to break over a certain high of day. And that's how I trade these. And I'm going in smaller. Let's go into each one of these these halts that I've traded over the past year. CARV, you know, a, a move from $9 all the way up to 14 in a matter of four four candles, right? Four, well, five, I guess, essentially. A pretty decent size move. Again, where am I trading? We have halt one. Yes, Z1 trader. Yes, he likes to buy big, yeah, buy long at yes at dip areas. At dip areas like that, he would have been in and out, you know, at that first little dip as soon, you know what I mean, that dip down to that area, the blue line. But yeah, I'll get back into that. But yes, that's how, that's and a lot of them. That's how you, and I'll show you even these where you come down to areas like here where you could have loaded up. You know, you wait for a bounce, load up here, wait for this to make its run. And that's my point. That's what he would do. A lot of great traders doing me on bounces. You load up here, get that pre bounce. You know, you get a, a pullback from 14 down to the old halt up area. But again, what am I looking for? CARV halted at 11.22. And this is this is when I traded the halt up. And what I traded, I didn't get this move. You know, one halt up, two halt up. I missed it. I missed that halt right there. And I'm not chasing after that going into three. Because look what happens after your third halt up team. How to trade these supernovas. Look at, again, and we saw them today. Third halt up, just like Kelly B earlier. Ooh, nice little spike. But what do we see? Dump Ola and a halt back down. Now I'm chomping at the bit loving life right here because I want what my halt strategy is this. And I've taught that before old halt up area will be new support bounce area, especially when you run up from 1120, you know, the 1122 halt area up to 14 on the dot. I am just waiting for this to open up and come down, especially when you close at 12. I'm like, oh, 80 more cents and we're there. Open up gap down and just come straight to me. And again, stock sniper being patient and exactly what I was talking about. Waiting for your play to come to you. I did. I let that move go. That's fine. This again, the team will happen when it's a little hotter. Say next week, the week after, when plays actually run longer than like say Kelly BLT. You know, it's not just a spike and then dump over and kind of, okay, maybe we'll go to spike later and that you have to be a part of that spike and that's it. This is when we get bounces. Look, we get two team. Two. One. To who? Two. Two bounces off 1122. It came with that AK-47 and said, oh, 1122, I, I hear you like them deuce deuces. You like them 22s. All right, we'll give you two bounces. One and two. Two bounces both of them going well over twelve dollars, you know. So, so essentially, you're getting you know a move back over twelve is my point. So each time, eighty plus cent move, if not a, essentially in the end, really a dollar plus move. Again, being a stock sniper, being patient, waiting for your play to come to you, waiting for this play to you know push up, waiting for a bounce at a good support area. And there's my after we get a spike, of course, again, boom. Look at the second one. Just waiting. Just waiting. This is, And again, it's going to get here again, team. I know it's been so over the last month, but wait for when it's hot again. And you see the, and this, again, we've seen plays like this. And it wasn't the first bounce. It's sometimes the second bounce right here on the second bounce. And this goes flying up through 14, makes new high of day. You're like, no way we're going. We're going for more, baby. And yes, we can and will do that. IMTE. Here's another one. Beautiful stock sniping trading. You miss your halts on the way up. And again, if you're not in on the first one, where you're kind of U-shaping, the small little U-shape, breaking above kind of this resistance and this downtrend, and you see this massive gap up from, say, 850 and it gaps up to 920, you're in. You're in for the next move up. You're in for that nice push. But what a stock sniper can do if you get the pullback and wait for it, if you don't, you have to buy on that surge as you're breaking through new high of day again, essentially, and where it halted up at. But as my halt strategy, yet again, look how this closes at. 848. This closes at 1012. Now you just wait. Closes at 848 on the hold up. Closes at 1012 on the hold up. Look where this pull back comes to immediately. The old halt up area. Two cents away both times. Now hard to get in. Now I totally understand that. But again, that's your pullback. That's where you have to, again, like me earlier, thought process is if I can get something close to this. And again, this is will and will be a trend soon. And it's not like crazy volume because these things are going to halt very quick. We see it. It's not like you can pull in a million shares in a candle and halt up. Not going to happen. Usually it's super quick volume on these low float plays. You have to jump in on these plays on the pullback to support. Flying through what? New high of day resistance or, you know, old resistance. But you're flying through old high of day 
making a new, creating a new high of day essentially every time, right? When you're every cent, new high of day, new high. That is your surge. Halt up one, missed it. Halt up two with a massive, well, obviously a massive gap up, but then a halt up two. If you didn't get in here, here's your last chance, especially when you see the trend and you know you have to what? Here we go again, team. Halt number three. Look what happens, just like the last example. Right into halt. Here's your halt three. Right into some resistance, forms a massive upper shadow like the flag on the top of the hill and comes crashing back down. Again, get in on these dips and you have to set a market order if you want. Go a few cents above. Maybe if you know the close was 848 like it was here and it did get to 850, put it at like 850. Okay, I'll go seven cents above. No, if it gets to eight, that I'll take that seven cents. I'm not worried about it. You know, they're quick dips. I'll get filled when I get filled. Or like me, waiting for it to just actually happen. And as soon as I see it do that, and I'm like, oh yeah, blah, 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 and I just press the button. I'm like, yes, and of course, FOMO sizing. You normally get in, say, you know, a bounce play, a normal just slow and steady bounce play, a thousand shares. You know, if you can, whatever you can afford here, say it is a thousand shares, a thousand shares usually at eight, eight fifty for a bounce, or whatever. You're going five hundred, five hundred max, no more than five hundred shares. You know, just be a part of the move. You're, you're gonna get profit. You know, eventually when, the, hey, you got a bigger account size. Okay, you're going in 2,000 shares. Now you can go in 1,000. You, you see, that'll come. Take your time with getting in slowly, sl smaller shares. Don't force your way into these. Go, okay, cool. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm knowing what I'm doing. You have a plan. Again, don't force your way in. Oh, my, yes, okay. He said FOMO going in. No, no, okay. I know I'm saying FOMO sizing. Again, have a plan. Go, oh, this caps up over you now. New high of day gives me a quick little pullback. I'm going to surge back to elite. And that's like it. That could be just your plan. Pull back to this support area. Just get in as quick as I can to push back to high of day. And if I break and we go above it, hallelujah, snakeskin, Randy, here we come. But that could just be your plan. Or your plan could be, hey, as soon as we surge through new high of day, whether we, you know, whether it was a gap up and it didn't pull back or not, but you wanted us to gap up and surge through new high of day and then you're in. Like I was doing earlier with Kelly B, which we'll go into again, trades like that, where you're just buying in on that second into third, fourth, you know, it's well, actually the end of the fourth, but second into the third halts up. You know, you're golden, always golden there. And again, you know, waiting for trades to come back to you where you could have got in here again, another lower shadow, same area, same areas. Why old resistance equals new support, old resistance equals new support. It's why we came down to this and really couldn't, we try to come down, which was great, two cents away. But again, shot right back up, you know, bounce off it, shot right back up. You know, it's a dollar plus move. 875 rule essentially too on top of the fact right same kind of sort of in that area boom right back up to 1025 1050 probably close to here's wins this is one of the first ones when i really started getting in these trades one of the bigger ones last year where i was like and, and you know loved it going hey you really can bank with these if you break in with high you know over high of day resistance you know same thing kind of what happened earlier really no volume then all of a sudden halts up here we're halted up at, you know, close to 25 gap up literally what just like Kelly B earlier gap up over 25. Now we're pushing through almost the 30 halt up again, just kind of like we did earlier or well, halted up, I think a little bit higher. Right. But then boom, now we're halted up flying, you know, boom, with same thing over and over again. So any of these you get into now, this one had multiple halts and my two areas getting into this last year, I'll never forget was this didn't get in this one, but this one. You know, it was a second halt up right here. Okay, man, if this flies up, I want to get in before that third halt up. Whammy, I was in this one, 100 shares. That's all I could do at the time, too. I was like, yeah, I'm just going to see what I can get with 100 shares. I was in 100 shares, rode this up to literally $40. I was like, okay, cool. All right, man, we we keep flying here, you know, because this was back in uh, uh, June when we see this. Oh, we saw it a lot. Remember early, the earlier in June, I just showed you earlier, Kelly B, was it Kelly B and DUO did it both earlier in June, June 4th? So we know it's happening. We see it happen. It's going to happen. It's going to roll. So my thought process is going again. I want to get in again. Well, oh, please break over 50. If you break over 50 and create a new high, damn, like earlier with 40, I'm getting in because 50 really strong. Give me some surge again. Boom. I got in right here. Halt right before it halted up again. Then it just halted. Then it come, came live barely for half a second. This, and I was still in the hundred shares, wrote it out and then finally started scaling out because we were up so high at that point. I, I don't think I got into this. This I think I, I scaled out right before we halted up this last time. And then we opened up and flew right up. But I mean, this halted up a ton of times, I know. So it kind of broke that three halts up rule. But, and that's what I'm saying. You're going to see those, right, teams? what I was saying from the get-go. You're going to see somewhere. And that was my golden rule here. Okay, cool. I'm into that second halts up. Here was your first. Here was your second. I got in here. Okay, cool. I got in there and then it kind of flew up, right? Flew up for me. I was in on the second halts up going into the third one. I'm good to go. Always is, is great. After this third halts up, this is where it's scary. And that's why I got out into here, into $40. Wasn't, didn't care. Didn't care that it could surge maybe to wherever. I Cool. You know, I took my little run. 
Because I can know after that third halt's up here, it could crash over. It didn't. It kept rolling. So what's it showing me? Oh, you're showing me what... Uh, oh, it was LTRPB in... Uh, I think it was LTR. Kelly B was... I think, yeah. It was LTRTB in... Or was it... L I, whatever. But the ones earlier in June, we can go back to in a moment. But earlier in June, we saw two do it. So I'm like, okay, here we, we're off to the races. There is, there, and this is one minute time frame, team. One minute. There are no red candles to over almost an hour into the day. And that's when it was halted down for like 30 minutes. And that's when we started seeing that 50% 50, 50 retracement craziness where they were, they were halted at 30 minutes or more. You saw it literally open up about halfway from where it was halted down at. But say my trades here again. Second halt up into the third. I know I'm good after the third halt up here. I'm out. Okay, hey, you're still going. Okay, if you break over fifty and you literally you get there's the fifty dollar here. This is fifty right here, team. If you get over fifty, I'm I'm let's go. Boom, I was in again another hundred shares. FOMO hundred shares. You know, nothing crazy. Just a hundred shares. I was in like right toward the top too. It was a bad feel. It's like fifty two right toward the top of it. But then I rode that hundred shares up. Ten dollars. Ten, twelve dollars or so. Not the whole count, but I went out like twenty five, then twenty five, then I was like ten, 10 I think I went ten, ten, then I went ten all the way out. But again, that's where I'm you know, waiting for. Again, just another kind of quick, quick synopsis of, you know, pre-market supernovas that fade. Finding bounces on the way down. There, it's halting up. Now it's halting down, you know, when it's halting down this way. And I didn't put the line in here. But what would have been a great bounce area, and it went a little bit below it, was right here. We have two of them. One's right here, and we do get a quick little dip back to this little sandwich area. That moves back up of literally $2. But then again, we get back down to the $12 dip here. Look at this right here. These upper shadows meet these lower shadows. Look where this lower shadow comes in right here. There's where the line is. Oh, well, there's where that line is. There you go, AK. You did do a slide for it. <laughs> but there's your there's your bounce right here. First one was right around here. It did go a dip below it. You can see the same type of area. But the better pure bounce is just kind of waiting for it. Upper shadow, upper shadow, upper shadow. Now we have these lows right here bouncing off of that area. Look at that. 1225 fill. You're back up to 1425. You can wait on these. You don't have to work. When the mob and the volume is there, team, and we're going to get there to where it stays with these plays, even, yes, it kind of falls off. It hit $20. Okay, it's down to $12. Do I really want to buy it? You can. I'm showing you there is profit to be made even on these as they fall down and fade. Yes, and this went and faded more. But still, you get in here anywhere close to 1220, 1225, 1230, you're instantly back up to 13 and then eventually to 14. Again, another one of these that like continues the ride, right? We open up in the, or we'll open up about 30 minutes before the market opens. You know, if Dex talking about this play, not much volume or anything is going on. This thing is at 220, 230, you know, not even at three. You know, three is right in between the, you know, because it's two to four. So this is about the $3 mark, somewhere in here. But still, we come down to three. After this quick little spike, come down to about two, probably 80-ish, I bet that was. And look, look at the beautiful trend line. But also, look how many times you can play it when it, it there's there were halts in here. Here's a halt up, kind of came down. There were m multiple halts in here. I think this was a halt up. See, testing high of day breaking. Waiting for bounce plays, team. When you see these, that's why I was getting, I threw some of these in there. Because when we get to here in the next month, and it gets hotter and hotter and hotter again, that's where you're going to see these bounce plays happen. You you don't have to be in these soup, the supernova like, oh, I missed the meat of the run. I, I got in, you know, oh, we were trying to chase those the, the halts. You don't have to chase halts. It's all about sitting back, being patient, patience, P-A-Y, patience. Pays off to be patient. Be a stock sniper, sitting in your tower, waiting for your play to come to you. Now, sometimes, like again, you're going to have to, Go back to like, you know, you're going to have to tack some of these plays, you know, like earlier, like a wins type play. You're breaking up over high of day. That's you're tacking it. And that's, that's you being a stock sniper, but seeing, oh, sh there, you know, oh there goes my target. It's, he's breaking over the boom. boom. I got to boom. We got to get him. Oh, and you're just waiting for him. You're waiting for essentially y'all are both hiding out, right? You're the stock sniper. You're in your tower. So you've got the high ground. He's down there. You know, you're, you're th you know, going throughout the city, hiding behind things, but you just, you're just sitting there waiting. You're just like, you know, eyeing the telescope. I in the telescope. I in the scope. <laughs> That'd be awesome. You have a telescope on there, right? It's even better. You literally can see him. It's like you can see his eyeball. <laughs> but just waiting for him to move, right? Just oh, boom, get him. Just jump to new. Oh, just oh, I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna boom. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna get it. So and that's what you're doing on plays like that. You gotta attack it. Where other plays like this, you can kind of just wait, just kind of sit there and wait for your. You're just waiting for him to come to town. You're just like, what are these guys ever gonna get here? Oh, I've seen some pass, but they're kind of way out. Okay, I'm not, I'm not going to force anything at that. I can't get those guys probably. Oh, here he comes. Here, wham, nailed him. Okay, those guys are just a little too over. Can't get those guys. Can't wham, you know, nail it. You know, you, you wait for your plays to be, you know, to come to you. 
you know, find these wedge breaks, you know, like, again, you're going to find, you know, a, a, another one, a beautiful trend line. Like I said, this play goes from the TOAP move where we're going to have a play go from two to 15. We're going to have, you know, like, wow, is this still moving? Kind of like an ACY play, but a little bit cheaper to start off with. And most of these two, that's again, just trying to show you, as you can see, you can just wait for plays that do rip. You can just wait for them all day long. And of course, downtrend breaks. We've been to that, but just really to trade how to supernova is the main thing team. We'll get back to this to kind of end off on that getting in these trades that just go, you know, bonkers. And this is one of the better examples. It's just when these things go from, you know, say if it starts even at 10, we've seen those go from 10 to 70 ish or whatever they start from. You're getting in lower share size, you know, the first two best if you can, and you have to attack it. You can't just wait for it to be at 50 plus you can, but the best uh, as always rule number one, if you're trying to trade supernovas and you're seeing them go nuts and halting up one, two, three, four, five times, the best advice, obviously, in most times, find that, okay, it's halted up once. Now, if we're going to roll up into halt two, that's your pro your prime area one to get in. You know, rolling up, here's halt one. Now we're rolling up into two. You're seeing this fly from what? 20, it opens up over, that's another thing too. It opens up over 25, so a nice gap up of $2. A, has a nice gap up, so you're seeing that. Now we're rolling, immediate volume. So you're going in FOMO share sizing, you know, like I said, hundred shares is fine. Five, you know, if you usually always go at least half the share size, you would go. So if you could afford a thousand shares and sometimes you could and want to on a slower play, Hey, I'll take a thousand shares. That's FOMO to me is half that 500 shares max, 500 max. So like I said, just getting in, going hundred shares. If you can only do hundred shares max, go only in 50 shares team, but it's in after halt one with volume and mob, if you don't get a quick pullback and search through that, where that would be your little dip by old, you might halt strategy, old halt up area equals new support. You don't get that dip to 25. You just see a huge gap up and instant volume surge. You're doing what? You're getting straight in the play. In the halt two and three. After halt three, you know right here, as you can see, look at after halt three. You get a little dicey and a lot of times, and I can get, show you like two in a row or maybe three in a row. But look, after the, here's one, here's two, Here's your third halt up. Look what happens after the third halt up. Know that most times after the third halt up, it's going to get, oh, you're a little dicey. But now we start, you know, flying through halt up and we hold halt up number three. We move to halt four, maybe get to halt five. You see, that's when you can then attack this. But again, it's FOMO share sizing, you know, FOMO share sizing, going in smaller shares, but a break of high of day area. You know, if you, you break above, you know, say above $50, that's what I, you know, oh, cool. I'm up to a new high of day. Get in, 100 shares, ride it out. Oh, we're breaking above $655, you know, whatever. We're breaking to a new high of day. That's where you can get in those trades. But you're in, you're out. You're not right. Usually most times you're not, again, riding these out the whole run. You're getting in these trades, you're getting out of them. Finding a new high of day area, getting out afterward. Hopefully that makes sense and you can understand exactly what I was trying to say there with, um, you know, how to trade supernovas, how to get in and out of them again, kind of like going back to again, like me with Kelly B same th uh, thought process as we've seen what Kelly B uh, did last year. So again, we saw LTRPB, which are real quick. I'll just keep this a part of the lesson. LTRPB, you know, earlier today, LTRPB goes from, you know, for, right at the open from 40, you know, right around $40, a hundred plus while this is halted down and has made this crazy move. Literally while this is halted down, we have Kelly B finally making it made its move and is now halted up right here this is the first halt up so okay okay let's see if you open up and if you gap up and you have still some firepower because the other one's gapping down or you know gap down one and gap yeah i guess it gapped down in and it wasn't well, excuse me it wasn't my point being halted down now right so that now you have the volume you have the, the hot fire the 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 mob if if you get a gap up like we do here we get a gap up that's my instant thought i didn't get that halt strategy pullback right did not get it fine so my immediate process, thought process is, boom, I have to get in this. I've seen what LTRPB has not only done today, but in the past. Kelly B has, has literally done in the past. So it was just jumping in smaller share size to begin with. Then that's why I went in a little bit bigger later because, A, I'm like, hey, if it jumps over 40 and it get rocking and rolling, I went in 100 shares to begin with. But that's why I jumped in bigger share size, a little bit bigger share size here was knowing I had that pure move over high of day with the little bit of mob and volume that it takes to get this to move up to, you know, say 50, you know, your next area is 50, 55, 60, you know, cause it's usually every $5 with, uh, uh, mid cap is, you know, mid cap stocks that move over 20, 20 to $25.